that for that there. Hello folks, here we are back again as promised and um, what we're going to do is we're going to start putting the handles that I pulled earlier. You didn't see me actually pulling these handles but you've seen me doing it before. Anyway I've got the handles pulled for these these mugs. Now you've just seen me round, uh, not rounding them, um, thumbing them off and as you can see I've got my handles here I've got them covered up with some plastic so they don't get you know because you can start out here at the beginning and by the time you get to the end they're getting a bit dry on the end so just keeping and keeping them covered um, I'm working here off of a banding wheel okay that's actually quite important uh, work off off of a banding wheel um, I've got my water here I've got my sponge over there if I need it. I've got my, my rounder here and my seals here for putting a seal onto the pots as I do them. So, let's proceed. Take a mug, eyeball it, <laughs> okay, put him on the banding wheel. Now the point of the location of the handle of these is going to be about there where my finger is and it's going to spring off there. This is not a, a handle for all of your fingers probably a handle for just one finger a one finger handle. Okay so what we do is we start by wetting wetting your finger okay now you don't need to use extra tools scratching tools you don't have to have extra slip all right or slurry to put on you don't really want to do that if you hit this just at the right moment when the pot is at the right state in the right state all you need to do is wet your finger and with the water on the end of your finger and with your fingernail okay just scratch the area where you're going to attach the handle what you effectively are doing is you are creating the slip from the pot itself you're not having to add slip from somewhere else okay so you're just using your fingernail as the implement and you're just scratching there so you just create a nice little spot like that put him back on the banding wheel take one of your handles and now just push it to release it off of the board here he is I'm going to use my knuckle and just spread the end of the handle like that when I say the knuckle I mean the knuckle of my thumb okay so that 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 widens widens the, the contact area right here I might just say at this point it is important that your handles when you chop them off on the board here that you chop them off vertically in other words they're at a right angle okay good okay so you've you've spread the end with your with your with that the knuckle of your thumb. You then, you then take, take this, okay, and I do this here. Make sure we're in the picture down there. Yeah, okay. All right. You're going to take the handle in your right hand and just offer it up to the place where you have keyed it. Okay, and give it a gentle but firm wiggle and push. Okay, now you don't want to deform the handle, and it's very important that you support the handle. Okay, so I'm supporting the handle. Now, with my, with my thumb on the top here, I then feed the clay into the body of the pot blend it and smooth the clay of the soft handle into the body of the pot. Underneath here with my index finger I then do the same thing. Now it's much better if you do this as I say here on the banding wheel not up in the air. I'm just doing that so you can, can see. All right now having done that and you do that all the time supporting the handle you then take the handle and the mug and put it to the vertical position supporting it as you do 
you can then take your handle your hand away from the handle now dip your handle into the water give it a few pulls all right there it is now he's hanging isn't he now what we're going to do is we're going to take him by the end of the handle and then we're going to put the mug back to the to the vertical position okay you see how I'm supporting the handle by holding it by the end you see it supports it and then just let it come down to the point where you feel the handle is the right size now you don't you don't want a handle that is sticking way out here it's just going to look cumbersome neither do you want the handle so small and tucked in that you can't get your finger into it all right so just bear those things in mind so at this stage you've got in the sideways view of it what you need to do is is eyeball it okay so that the, the shape is as you want it okay what we're now going to do is we're going to take take it to that position from there to there and now with my thumb now this bit's a little bit it's not tricky but there's a bit of a knack to it okay now you don't want to have a, a wet thumb okay when I say wet I mean like dripping wet you don't want that okay to do this next little thing I'm going to show you neither do you want your thumb kind of bone dry <laughs> the funny sort of in between but anyway now if you have a, a an apron you can wipe your your thumb on your apron okay now at this point okay you're going to see if I can do this so you can see you're going to take the, the softness of the clay here and you're going to spread it okay like that okay and now on the same on the other side here we're just going to take that and spread it across little tail flick him off okay now anything else that we need to do now's the time to do it just check it up check it around the top here that it's looking good all right and that's it okay now it's when you start to do this kind of thing it's very tempting when you're trying to doing this you and you, you don't get it you don't get it right to start with because it's a bit of a knack to doing all of this it's very very touchy-feely you know and we're not used to working like that and uh, uh, we're all fingers and thumbs aren't we and we can't seem to get it just as we want it and then we've got to get the sponge out and start sponging it and licking it and dibbing it and dabbing it and pressing it and all that and the whole the whole the mug and everything starts to look very handled doesn't it and very kind of fingerprints everywhere and we don't want that we want to keep it nice and clean and fresh looking okay so now's the time what I do is if you've got a seal put your seal on if you haven't got a seal we'll make one because they're dead easy dead easy to make try and get out of the habit of scratching your name on the bottom really lowers the tone I think um, so now you're going to take your mug, put it on the wheel here after you've done all this. Take your rounder. Now you may not have you may not have a rounder. What is a rounder? A rounder is something you're going to use to put inside a a round a pot to make it round. Because often when we've been working with pots, especially if we've been putting on handles and doing all that kind of thing, the pot may have got overlated or slightly gone out of shape. So take, take a, a lump of clay, throw yourself a nice cone shape like that. Because that, you see, is going to fit down inside that. And just you just give it a gentle push down, OK? And that'll make sure it's round. Voila! OK, well, while I've got your attention, I'll do another. Scratching. <laughs> Get your handle. Spread the end. The knuckle of your thumb. 
broaden the contact area. On the banding wheel here, all right, we're going to take the handle, offer it up, push it in. Don't deform the handle. Don't let the handle bend. Keep it keep it supported, okay, all the time supported. Smooth the handle in with your index finger and thumb into the water. Give it three or four pulls. Okay, hold it by the end, bring it back to the vertical. Eyeball it, make sure it's straight. Okay. Dry your thumb off a bit. As I told you, position right. Is it good? Yeah, okay. That way. That way. And off with his tail. Okay, now you, that you'll have to work on a little bit to get that. Okay, seal. Is it round? Put the rounder in, push him down. Onto the board, let's do one more. There's, there's a definite knack to being able to put handles on and it doesn't, you don't learn it um, in a few pots. After you've done a few dozen pots you might be beginning to get the hang of it. But you do need to practice it. Okay, pull the handle, wet the handle Hold him by the end, bring him round. Eyeball him. Does he look good? Dry off your thumb. Fishtail finish. Off with his tail. On the banding wheel, rounder. Random. Seal. Back on the board. Scratch. Pick your handle. Spread the end. On the banding wheel, push the handle up, smooth him in, into the water, give him a few pulls. And the reason we put the handle into the water and give him a few pulls is because it just freshens, freshens the handle up, makes the handle a little bit more pliable and more fluid, which is what, which is what we want at this stage while we are Uh, bending him around and joining him. Okay. Like that. Like that. And off with his tail. Seal. Get the rounder round him. While you're doing that, you're going to visually check the handle, scrutinize the pot. If there's any little nick that you've, you know, with your, if you've got fingernails, like I've got a few fingernails here which I use, inadvertently you stick your fingernail where you don't want it, don't you? And, you know, you may just need to, if you see something like that, then just deal with it. All right. Scratch him with a wet finger, create the slit on the pot, 
get your handle, spread the end, apply him, push him in, smooth him, take that clay, make the join into the water. Give him a few pulls, bring him round. Is he straight? Just check the top here is joined. Okay, dry my thumb. Off with this time. Seal. Get your rounder. Round him. On the board. Okay? And so on and so forth. Now, you will need to practice this. It, 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 you know, you, first of all, you've got to take your lump of clay and you've got to, you've got to pull, pull your handles, haven't you? And um, that's, where, that's, that's, where, that's where it all begins. And you really need to just pull and pull and pull lots of handles and lots of handles until you learn, until you get it right. Once you've got some good handles, you can then hopefully apply the handles um, to the pots successfully. Well, go to our website, simonleachpottery.com. See if there's anything there you need. There may be some tools there you need, or check out our t-shirts. I'll keep practicing t-shirts. And we've got a, a leech potter's wheel there. I've got some of those here. Which you can see on our site there. Um, yeah, we're going to be getting some pots up there soon, some fresh pots. So there it is folks, putting on handles. Have a go. Don't be daunted. Determine you're gonna do it and you will. But you need you need numbers. Don't just do two or three. You won't you won't do it. Do twenty or thirty. Get yourself some wear boards. So you can do you know like twenty at a time. <sighs> okay, I'm going to carry on and get on with these. I'll see you next time. Until then, keep practicing. See you soon. Bye. La, la, la.